Hello, this reading is for anyone that's in masculine energy. So this could be a gay or lesbian relationship as well. It's just, you know, whoever is currently in feminine energy and whoever is currently in masculine energy. So let's see what the cards have to tell you. Uh, last, I think it was about a week or so ago for the DMs, I made a video about karmic patterns. I, I sensed a lot of you guys holding on to an old, to one or multiple old karmic relationships, getting the sense that you feel like you can't trust your intuition anymore, like you can't follow your heart anymore. Um, just a lot of um, taught, like just red threads connecting you to, to one or more people, somebody who really damaged you and betrayed you and hurt you pretty badly. And you're repeating patterns subconsciously based off the trauma you experienced in that relationship with someone you really loved. And it's sabotaging things with, you know, your soulmate or your twin flame. So if you haven't checked that video out already, you should go ahead and check that out because I did give some advice on, you know, recognizing those subconscious patterns that you've been repeating and also, you know, cutting the the red cords you have a lot of red cords between you and um your karmic that you might not even be aware of so so becoming conscious of that becoming conscious of your patterns becoming responsible and conscious of your behavior you know ending those patterns so that you don't sabotage something real um so yeah check that video out if you want i think it was posted about a week or so ago So what is the story for you right now? What is what's your feminine feeling? What is she wanting? What does she want you to know? What is the story here? What does your person want you to know? Divine intervention, synchronicity, cold, guarded, and distrusting. We got apology and regret. Dreams, visions, telepathy, hidden truth. So yeah, hidden truth coming out um, in the dream state or through some type type of telepathic communication between you two. We got after we have hidden truth, we've got chaser and chasey having a power struggle with somebody. Confusion, uncertainty, hesitation, and mixed feelings codependency and addiction so divine intervention has taken place and also this is not just divine intervention but well i guess that would be considered divine intervention synchronicity you know numbers patterns repeating um you know hearing messages through songs movies even just just these these telepathic messages coming through to either and you you know what your story is but i do sense two different stories here for so for some of you you're the one that's been cold and guarded and distrusting and you're the one that's kind of sabotaged things and your guides are showing you these patterns they're showing you the synchronicity they're showing you where you went wrong and they're trying to get you to hold yourself accountable and you know your feminine is wanting some regret from you they're wanting an apology they're wanting some truth they're wanting this hidden truth to come out from you they want you to stop they want they don't want it to be a chase or chasey power struggle with you anymore they want the truth. They want to know how you feel. They want to see regret from you. They want to see this apology. For others of you, so there's two different groups here that I'm channeling. For the second group, I feel like it's actually your feminine that was cold and guarded and distrusting. And she kind of sabotaged it with you. And her guides are now showing her where she went wrong, where she was too angry, too harsh, too negative. And it's possible for some of you, both of you guys were in the wrong. Both of you guys just had so much pride and you made it a power struggle when it didn't need to be. And now one or both of you are realizing that you were in the wrong and that, you know, there's love here deep down despite the arguments or despite miscommunication or, you know, fear on anger or fear or anger on one or both sides. Like one or both of you is kind of realizing that that, that power struggle doesn't need to be there, that, you know, there there's there might be love underneath all this and they're wanting to get to the truth they're wanting to see what's below the surface they're wanting to see who you are below the surface they're wanting one or both of you is just wanting to get past this power struggle type energy and this miscommunication and this anger but but yeah so for some of you it's your person that was cold guarded and distrusting 
you know, they were the one that, that kind of sabotaged things, and their guides are kind of teaching them some tough karmic lessons right now, and they're wanting to come through with an apology and regret and tell you they're sorry, you know, if they got angry or if they're, if they're cold or if they kind of ghosted you or distanced themselves or if they played games. Maybe they played some, some, you know, games with you that would work on other people, but it didn't work on you, and it backfired on them, and now they're like, oh, crap, how do I fix it, you know? Like, playing little games, like, not texting you all day or not texting you for a couple days, um, and you played that game right back, and now they're like, oh, crap, how do I, how do I fix this? How do I get out of this power struggle? And, and you know, be, they're wanting to be vulnerable. They're not knowing how to be vulnerable with you, but they are wanting to be vulnerable with you. And there's truth coming out in your dreams and visions and telepathy for one or both of you. I think that you have this, this spiritual connection and it's coming through and your person might be getting messages through their dreams too about, um, well, it looks like all these cards just wanted to pop out. You know, your person might be getting messages through their dreams too about, you know, where they went wrong and what they could do differently. And kind of just realizing that, you know, there is love underneath all the bullshit here. You're my best friend. I often think about the last night we saw each other. There's no one like you. And I realize now I won't be able to find a love like ours with somebody else. I'm going to reach out. I'm searching for the right words to say. So, yeah, this is somebody who possibly, like, kind of knows they messed up or knows they made it a power struggle or... Maybe you were you were being distant, and they got sick of it, and they said something, and now they're they don't they just don't know what to do with you anymore. They just don't know. It's like you guys are at a standstill. They're not sure what to say next. You know. I think this power struggle. So again, it's it's this is either you or it's your person's or both. But this power struggle is making them question the relationship, or it's making you question the relationship. But there's this like confusion and uncertainty here. There's you know mixed feelings, hesitation. And it's tied to this um, this codependency addiction card. So I think that I think there's love. Like I said, I think there's love deep down, but it's like for whatever reason, it's just turned into this power struggle. It's like you both are really wanting to be vulnerable and open and honest with each other. You're both wanting that. You both want this to go somewhere. You both want that um, that deeper connection and that vulnerability and that safe space with each other you both want to confess your feelings for each other you you both want to see what what's you know underneath the mask what's what's beneath the surface like what is this connection all about you know you guys are both trying to explore this connection but your fears and your anxieties are coming into it and kind of blocking both of you and so there's this power struggle this ego where it's like you're both afraid of getting hurt and so you're both kind of playing these games with each other and somebody, one or both of you is just being too cold, too, card, too guarded, too distrusting. And that cold guarded energy is making someone quite, in the, in the power struggle, the ego, you know, not being able to get through the miscommunication, the anger, whatever it might be, you know, playing games or pretending like you're talking to other people or whatever it might be. It's causing somebody confusion and uncertainty, and it's making them hesitate and have some mixed feelings here. And they're starting to wonder, like, is this just codependency? Is this just, like, an addiction? Is this, is this real love, or is, just, is this just a pattern that I keep repeating? Am I just codependent and not wanting to be alone? Or is there something more underneath the surface? Because I think someone was seeing you as like a soulmate or a twin flame like they were feeling that true love and whatever happened you guys just got off path and it turned into a power struggle and now they're starting to like really wonder like is there love under like beneath the surface like is this person ever going to be vulnerable with me am i ever going to be able to be vulnerable with them or is this just codependency and addiction and just another one of my patterns that i'm repeating that i need to break you know, your person is really starting to question the connection. Or you are. Again, it could be, this could be your energy. It's however, whatever your story is. You know, you know what your story is. But, um, for some of you, it, it's true. For some of you, there really isn't that much behind, beneath the surface. For some of you, it might be, that might actually be the case where maybe, maybe it is codependency. Maybe it is addiction. Maybe it is just a pattern you're repeating. You know what I mean? Like, for some of you, that might be the case, if it's, especially if it's a power struggle and it's going in circles. 
but I think you guys need to figure it out finally either way because you guys are just going in circles with each other you're just miscommunicating right now it's just you know sh they're afraid of getting hurt you're afraid of getting hurt you got a big ego they got a big ego like chaser chase you games you know they chase you you pull away you chase them they pull away it could be someone you have a history with that you keep doing this with like either they're emotionally unavailable and you, you're going after them or you know vice versa it's just like this this pattern this merry-go-round you keep repeating with this person and it's like you guys need to figure it out finally what's on the soul level what's beneath the surface is this true love is this destiny or is this just a karmic connection like you need to there's so much that's like just left unsaid it's like you guys have this like good like this spark and I feel like you guys have this like maybe like just like love at first sight or like you just have this good feeling about each other and then it's like your insecurities came up or something just happened like where you triggered them they triggered you and it was just like this like domino effect and now you're in this power show with them and it's like someone's always chasing and someone someone's always running it's like maybe you have that history with them of doing that and for some this could be a twin flame relationship because it seems like with the chaos here and the way you guys mirror and trigger each other it wouldn't surprise me if this is a twin flame relationship for others though i do think this could just be a karmic connection for some of you, I really do think this might just be repeating patterns. It might just be codependency and addiction and, and, and repeating this pattern with this person. Like this could be like a past life, like a karmic cycle with this person. Like it's like you guys just it's just like a lot of games. It's like you guys just go in circles and you have to get off the merry go round, so whether it's you cutting it out and you being done or you figuring out i mean i would probably suggest figuring out what the what the relationship is really about like it's time for honesty it's time for open communication it's time for vulnerability and if they don't reciprocate then you know where you stand and you can move on but you are stuck in this stagnant energy with this person right now because of this power struggle because of this pattern you're repeating with this person and so you got to do what you need to do to stop repeating the pattern. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, just figure your shit out already, you guys. <laughs> like, both of you, not just you, but them, too, you know? It's like you're both just holding on to fear and pride so much that, like, you need to just, you, you guys need to be open and honest with each other and, and be willing to be vulnerable so you can figure out if this is true love or... If this is just a karmic connection and you guys are just codependent and addicted to each other and you need to cut those cords and end that cycle so you can manifest your true love. Either way, the power struggle is keeping you stagnant and keeping you stuck to this person. So you really need to find out, are you moving on or are you staying? You know what I mean? You need to get to the bottom of things. You need open, honest communication. You need vulnerability. Because again, this person could just be a karmic that you need to cut out that you're repeating patterns with. So... Or they could be your true love and maybe you, they have more on a soul more there's more to offer on a soul level but because you've been stuck in this power struggle you guys haven't been able to see they haven't been able to see who you really are and you haven't been able to see who they really are so you, you got to cut through that you know you you need forward movement finally and that's up to you guys to be honest to be forward with each other to, to communicate to figure things out you know and if it's if it ends up just being toxic again, then you know that they're a karmic, and you know it's time to cut it, cut them out, and move on, and manifest your true love instead. You know what I mean? But stop staying stuck to them. Stop staying on this merry-go-round with them, whoever they are. All right. Kim. Yeah, I kind of got the energy. Clubs, party, social life. For some, some of you might have met them at a club, and they might party a lot soulmate past life connection soul contract yeah there we have that soul contract so some of you this really is a karmic past life connection and you have some kind of soul contract and so it's like you're just repeating the same same thing and you've got to end that soul contract or you got to end the the red threads that are connecting you to this person it's like they're keeping you this soul contract this past life connection it's keeping you stagnant and complacent it's blocking you from manifesting your true love and blocking you from manifesting the things you want in your life because you're just on this merry-go-round and you got to get push yourself out of the stagnation and complacency 
Um, yeah, some of you met them at a club or a party or some kind of, there's some kind of social event there. Could also be a soul contract that's tied to partying, tied to, like, the way people see you or something with publicity in your social life. Like, I think you would know what that is, but some something with that too, possibly. But yeah, this soul contract or whatever it is, it's like, it's keeping you kind of stagnant and complacent. And so... You need to figure out. You need to. You got. You need to figure out for yourself whether this person rejects you or whether this person isn't for you or not. At least you'll finally be moving forward one way or another. You know. So you need to let your pride go in just for yourself. You need to figure out what's underneath their mask. You know. What is this connection? Is it deeper? Is it deep? Is it is it emotional? Is it deep? Or is it just a karmic past life? Is it just like a karmic soul contract and just, uh, or like a subconscious pattern from your childhood, like being attracted to a certain type of person and you're repeating that pattern with this person? Like you, you need to get to the bottom of it and figure out what this connection is. You know, you need to get past the pride and stubbornness because that pride and stubbornness is keeping you stagnant. So again, it's like either, either you're going to confess your feelings and be open and honest and, and you're going to get some clarity that this is just a karmic that you need to cut out and you're going to move forward and you're going to manifest your actual true love or this is your true love and and you're going to they're going to be vulnerable with you because they're going to match your energy when you're being vulnerable with them but somebody's got to break the ice here you know yeah magic manifestation power intention you need to step into your power you need to take res responsibility and control of your life and push yourself out of this stagnant energy We've got finances and careers. So as you do this, your finances and your career are going to open up too because I think this situation has taken a lot of your energy and kept you blocked and tied up. And whatever whatever, whatever the result is of you having this open, honest communication finally, you know, you have new listening and understanding, new perspective, and true love and abundance now flows to you naturally, or naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery, you know, your willingness to step out of your comfort zone, to take control, to take power of your life, to step out of the complacency and move forward with or without them, you know, and your finances and career are again going to blossom as a result of it too. And then you're going to be with somebody who has mutual feelings for you. You're going to have this emotional depth, whether it's with them or someone else, your love life is going to open up and things are going to get moving for you as a result of, of, you know, getting out of that stagnant energy and communicating and saying, you know, let's figure this shit out. Are we doing this or not? Is this a soulmate or a twin flame or, or my life partner? Or is it a karmic? Like what, what's this connection about? What is this connection about? What, what are we doing? You know? So moving forward, pushing out of stagnant energy. Thank you guys for watching. If you want a private reading, my contact info is below. And if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. I do these regularly.